Can this... <laughs> can this replace this? People think I'm crazy for doing this, but I'm going to prove them wrong. Okay, so here's the thing, right? We know that the Steam Deck is powerful enough to run games like The Witcher 3 and Dead Stranding. And we also know that it's kind of like a portable computer because while it has Steam OS running on it, it also has a Linux desktop mode. Now, I'm a cheap skit and I like to save money, so buying a Steam Deck dock is a solid hell no to me. Instead, I bought this. It's a dongle that I found on Shopee for 79 to 99 ringgits, and it has a USB port, it has a HDMI port, it has a SD card reader, and it looks hell a lot more cooler. Okay, so let's break down what I do at Product Nation. I basically write scripts, I do storyboards, I reply to emails, and occasionally, I edit videos. Now, editing videos is the thing that is going to push the potential of the Steam Deck. Now, SteamOS is really nice. And that's the last you're going to hear about it in this video. This is a desktop mode that is running on a custom version of Arc Linux. Basically, there are many different versions of Linux desktops out there. Valve just decided to do this on Arc. But under all of that is a Linux operating system. Now, some might say that it's hard as Bruh. to get anything to work on Linux. And while that might be true because you still have to write some command prompts, there is a Discover app built into this version of Linux that basically acts like a Google Play or an App Store, but for Linux. And on it, you can find almost any app to get any desktop app up and running. Now, inside this version of Linux comes with Firefox. Personally, I don't like Firefox, but the App Store also allows you to download Microsoft Edge or even Google Chrome if you need that, but we'll do that in another video. So for scripts and storyboards, usually I use Word and PowerPoint. I could use Google Drive to do all of that on the browser, but nah, we'll go a step further. Microsoft Office is a no-go. But the next best alternative is LibreOffice, which is a free open source word processing software that also includes the equivalent of Excel and PowerPoint. So far, it's been pretty good. It helps that I obviously have used this software before on my desktop. And you know, it'll be great if people stop sending me docs and Excel files and just send me a goddamn Google Drive link. Wake up, people. It's not the 90s anymore. All right, here's the interesting part. Can we edit an entire video on the Steam Deck? So when I went on the internet and searched around what Linux users were using, they were using this application called KDan Live, which is basically a free video editing software on Linux. And now we edited a video that consists of 1080p and 4K footages. And while the Steam Deck fans did kick up, we still managed to get that video out, which you can watch right now on our TikTok and our IG channel. So to go check that out. Now I know a lot of y'all might be thinking that this video is moving towards the fact that the Steam Deck can replace my laptop because it can do all the work that I need it to and it can play games. But the problem with the Steam Deck, and I know a lot of Linux users are not going to be happy, is the fact that it runs on Linux. It's just not friendly enough. Like on Windows, if you're looking for something with just a little logical guesses, you can try to figure out where those files or folders are. But on Linux, it's just literally all over the place and you have to scour the depths of the file finder to find for what you want. You would need to run commands to get to that point so that the application will appear. And for applications that you cannot find on the Discover App Store, you would have to run commands in order to pull them from GitHub or wherever else they might be stored and get that installed into this version of Linux. Now, I know that that is the charm and the flexibility of Linux, but if you're not used to Linux and how it operates, it's a very tedious process. Okay, so will the Steam Deck replace my computer? I don't think it would, but I think that it will be a great companion to my computer. Because on days where I'm just researching or I'm writing scripts, then I would rather bring the Steam Deck compared to bringing my laptop with its charger. And of course, because it's so small, it's easy to hide in a corner of the office and play games. But that's about it from me, guys. If any of you have a Steam Deck, let me know in the comments below what have you been doing with it and how are you utilizing it. I really want to know if you have any tips and tricks about the Steam Deck. Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon, and I will see you in the next video.